Hey, Diana here. Welcome to the studio. And today I'm going to be adding some signatures to this uh, journal. It's a Stillman and Burn watercolor journal. I'll link it down below. And I just wasn't ready to let go of this journal. The pages are all filled up. As you can see, I'm doing a little flip through and I'm going to add two more uh, folios to this journal. One of them has already been started and it's just a real simple idea I thought I would share with you just for some fun and I'm just trying to decide. That's my Zig color swatches by the way. Those are nice markers. So I'm just trying to decide where to put this and that those two pages were a little much so I decided to put uh, one folio in there and what I'm doing is using some just some string or you could even use a rubber band and um, just going to put a little bit of glue on that string so it stays steady for me. I'm just using a piece of a, of a Ranger craft mat and uh, just just not a lot of glue just enough to keep it steady and then just tie it and it's that simple to do and it will make your pages bulge. Uh, that's not a problem for me. I kind of like that look myself. So I'm using, uh, I think these are Memory Keeper. I'll link, like I said, I'll link that below because those, those uh, are an extra hand, those particular tweezers that when you squeeze them they open so they're shut now and I just holding it in place adding just a spot more glue so that doesn't move around too much and um, you know just tying a, a what is that Boy Scout knot it's uh, left over right and right over left and it looks like I'm just giving it another once over just to keep it sturdy and steady and then cutting some of that off and that's it. It's a simple tip today. Um, you can see the inside is nice. And I just love this journal. I have to say I just couldn't bear to give up on it. I've put so much of my life and art into this particular journal. Well, I guess we all do that with all of our journals, but um, sometimes I can't say goodbye. <laughs> so that's just a quick way of adding a signature or two into the journal. And as you can see, I also when I cut the, the uh, folio, I folded it and I trimmed it up leaving a tab at the side. I also like tabs and on my in my journals it does help me to find pages quickly. Just for a bit of variety I'm using I, I can't even remember where I got this piece of ribbon uh, or whatever it is, um, but it's thick and I decided it would be cool to add this as well. So I'm just cutting this down a little bit. I'm cutting the width in half so it's not quite so thick and I'll use that. You know, so look around, find, it, it, this could be a, a scrap of fabric just cut a strip of it. It just kind of open, opens up possibilities. And you can see the tab I cut on this sheet. I think that's some joggle stencils I was um, playing when I was working on a project. I was checking the stencils. So here we go. Just um, I pulled a little piece off and uh, that's it. And I, th I just think it gives the book a lot of more texture and makes it seem more playful and even on the inside. So 
that is the book and I hope you enjoyed this quick video and I'll see you soon links are below uh, you can check out the blog post over on my blog thanks for spending a little part of your day with me bye now